Martin. Uh, this is the same neighbourhood that in 2013, following another chemical attack, uh, President Obama rubbed out his own red line, and this place wrongly, in my view, turned its back and abandoned these people to their fate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So when Russia breaks the terms of the resolution, when President Assad breaks international law and gasses his people again, which they both will, are we going to carry on in this merry dance of warm, angry words and stomping our feet? Or are eventually we in this country going to say enough is enough and actually do something? Hear, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, Mr. Speaker, I always note whether when, uh, when such questions are uh, posed uh, in this House, there is very often a, a martial uh, cheering or, or assent, noise of assent from, from benches on, on both sides. And I have to say that uh, I, I share that sentiment. I would like to see us to be in a position uh, to do something. Uh, to not to not to allow not to allow the use of chemical weapons uh, to go unpunished. But I, I I just remind the House of what happened in 2013 when we did have that choice, when we did have when we did have that option and we failed to take it. Let us not let us not let the people of Syria down again. 